In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a workaround for the oversized state bug in the all-new Adobe Captivate. So I've been preparing my material for the Adobe Learning Summit in Las Vegas uh, later this month. And um, I discovered, along with uh, Pooja J. Singh, my partner in all this, uh, that there's a small bug in Adobe Captivate. And of course, I'm certain that Adobe's going to fix that on the new release, but I've discovered a workaround to get around it, and I'm going to show you that here today. Okay, so both Pooja and I were working on some uh, custom interactions or advanced interactions, and uh, one of the things that we discovered is that if we were going to set a state such as the state for a character, this bug would show up and making it very difficult to select the actual state that you wish to use. And what we discovered is that if you select the objects in question and view their multi-states or multi-poses as the case might be to make sure that they're all displayed here it actually fixes that problem here. So if I return back to the button where I was going to create um, an interaction here, uh, now of course the states are easy to select because the characters of course have returned to normal size. And this would be uh, you know, available for even things like text, which was looking uh, all askew as well and um, body text as well. So that seems to fix it. Display the states, and again, I'm sure Adobe will send out an update real soon that fixes that issue. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.